Hello folks, Scott Grove here from GroovyMusicLessons.com Yes, I'm having a bad hair day today. Um, I'm going here today to talk to you by request about pop values and these are for your, like your volume pops on your guitars and what they mean for your tone. Okay, um, number one uh, the higher the pop value that means that the actual volume pot is going to let more high end, more treble, through to your amp. Okay, now see if you can follow me on this. A single coil guitar, like a Strat or a Tele, will generally have a 250k volume pot in it. Okay, this is actually allowing the least amount of treble to get to your amplifier. So you know by that standard that single coil pickups must be extremely bright sounding if um, at the bottom of the food chain as far as pop values go um, are way down at 250k. So they're extremely bright before you put that 250k resistance in there. So it's chopping off tons of high end to allow it to sound nice and sparkly when it gets there. So without it, it would just bite your head off. Now humbuckers in all your other guitars, your Les Pauls and such, generally will have 500k pots in them. So they are allowing um, even more high end through. Okay, that's because they're generally considered to be warmer or a muddier sounding pickup because of their nature of design. Okay, because when you get all a humbucker is, is two single coils and one wrapped one way, one wrapped the other way, it stops the hum, but by doing so it sacrifices the, some of the tonal properties. So therefore you have to get some of that back. So they change the volume pot resistance to 500k. So by doing that it allows you to regain a whole bunch of that high end that you lost by making it a humbucker by making it a 500k pot and allowing for more treble to pass through to your amplifier. Okay, So if you have humbuckers that are still dark sounding, you know they're just like well I've done everything to try to brighten it up, but they're still too dark. You know, they're still muddy. Then you can easily just try like a one meg pot. And um, maybe it's only one of your pickups, not both of them. Just switch the one that seems really muddy. Leave the other one the way it is. Don't worry about your tone pots. Your tone pots are fine. Um, you don't have to worry about ever changing those. But just know that. Um, same thing with your Strat. Say your Strat is uh, just a little bit um, dull sounding. It's, it don't have this bright sparkle high end that a lot of your other friend Strats have. So you might want to goose it up just a little bit. So they have like 300k pots. Try that. You know, just switch out you know, the volume knob, you know, control your pot for a 300k and that will allow more high end to the amp. If it doesn't quite do it, throw a 500 in there. It may just do the trick for you. Okay, at the same time, the higher in value that each of these goes, um, when you actually take the volume knob and start to turn it down, the higher the pot value, the quicker you're going to lose high end when you turn your volume down on your guitar. Okay, so Les Pauls, by nature, or anything with humbuckers with 500k pots, by nature and by design, will lose tone. They will lose high end quicker than a single coil equipped guitar will. Okay, so you start turning the volume knob down on a Les Paul, and it's going to start sucking high end away really quick. It's just the way it is. Um, single coil guitars... It will take it away, but not as quick as it will on a humbucker equipped guitar. Okay, and then you will have other guitars that will have 
mini humbuckers like this one here okay um, these here are known to be bright by design not quite as bright as a single coil not quite as dark sounding as normal humbuckers so generally they will put a 300 K volume pot you know or volume pots in there if you wanted to make them not quite as jangly not quite as bright but just more humbucker sounding okay and you do not want to allow as much treble to your amp what do you do you put in a lower value pot so you would put like a 250k pot in here instead of a 300k pot and it would actually get rid of some of the high end naturally associated with guitars you know such as these okay so you get to think of things like that and again remember the higher the value of the pot the, the quicker you're going to lose high end when you turn your volume knob down okay once again those of you who have the really dark sounding humbucker guitars you can um, get them nice and bright and then use your volume I'm sorry or your tone knobs your treble on your amp turn them down after you put like a one meg um, volume pot in your guitar and really allow all the high end to come through then just cut the treble back on your amp or as you're cutting the volume back on your guitar it will naturally suck a ton of that away so if you do have overly dull sounding humbuckers throw a one meg pot in there let all the treble through then you can suck back some of that high end from your amp or from your volume on your guitar okay now one last thing is um, volume pedals this is where it gets really strange for those of you who use them as much as I do okay um, and I, I'll touch on one other thing too in a second um, Morley volume pedals are the only pedals that will accept all kinds of guitars now when you get into guitars that have like EMGs in them it's a whole different thing they use 25k volume pots 25k linear volume pots um, active pickups are a whole different ball game they don't lose the high end when you go to shut them down you know turn them back your tone stays consistent the whole time okay it's a whole different ball game and it's a great volume you know it's a great game to be in but it's just a matter of if you like that kind of pickup or not you like what you like okay that's just the way it is I'm just trying to help you understand these things better but these Morley's they do not use volume pots in them at all there is no volume pot of any kind in here uh, what there is is a photoelectric cell and a LED so it's like the Sun and a solar collector on the other side so via a shape cut into a piece of hard steel or cardboard in here depending on which model you have it goes down and it allows for more or less light to go through and that will control your volume your tone will stay exactly the same unlike any guitar other than EMG equipped guitars or um, active pickup guitars um, this is the only other thing that will act like that okay so you can run humbuckers a guitar with humbuckers a guitar with single coils a guitar with active pickups all through your rig if you're using a volume pedal using this pedal but if you are using a brand by any other name <laughs> okay say you're using an Ernie Ball you have to check these specs out and you're using an Ernie Ball pedal let's say a well and you have a Les Paul okay so you will want a 500k pot in your volume pedal just like on your guitar so that it will act and sound just like it does on your guitar's volume um, something with a 250k uh, response in there will sound way different and not act at all like you're used to it acting okay so you may think it's just you hate volume pedals no it's that you got the wrong one okay so you're like well god do I have to get different volume pedals in for every guitar not if you get these but if you get any other brand yeah you do okay again Morley is the only thing and I have fixes 
on how to make these work because they don't work right right out of the gate but I have them up on my site if you need to know ask me how to fix them and it'll work for every guitar and you could use every pickup configuration every pop configuration blah 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 that you can think of but so if you have a Strat you'll want to get a volume pedal that has a 250k um, pot in it if you change pots in your guitar you better change the pot in your volume pedal if you're using one yeah it is that important otherwise they will sound totally different from each other and your tones will get all kinds of weird sounding if you use your pedal instead of using your volume control because they're two different value pots so your tones will change differently okay I know it's a lot to ex ex absorb but it's all part of what is and what can make up your tone and like I said you can do different things and here's the other thing I was going to tell you is you can actually and this is what most guitar designers don't think of is when you go splitting pickups so you have a humbucker you flick a switch and it goes to single coil well more than likely you have a guitar with two humbuckers in it and it has a 500k pod in it for the humbuckers but when you split it to single coils you're going to end up with um, very extremely high-end bitey um, single coils because you're using 500k pots on single coils now no you need 250k pots so you need to switch your value of your volume pots when you go to single coil that needs to be implemented in guitars they need to change some with you know just a capacitor or resistor I'm sorry not a capacitor a resistor and a couple people are smart enough to do this not all the big G word they don't think to do it but <laughs> um, yeah they need to switch the pot value when you go to single coil to switch your volume to throw in that extra resistance the extra resistor that all of a sudden will cut it down to 250k and then you switch the other one and it goes to 250k also so that it will sound correctly and let the right amount of highs through so that it will sound like a valid real single coil with the correct uh, resistance on it okay but also again if you're using any volume pedal other than this guy and you um, go to flick a switch if your guitar all of a sudden switches from 500k to 250k your volume pedal that is going to go nuts um, it will hate it so get yourself the Morley learn how to fix it and then be able to use it and then you can run any guitar through there your steel guitar, your ukulele, your banjo, your um, EMG equipped guitars, your humbuckers, your single coils all through there and it doesn't matter because it is not regulated in any way it is, does not have a set value it will just do whatever your guitar normally does. It's just a volume. It does not get regulated by um, any kind of resistance. Okay, so that's it. Just things to think about. Okay, so to go over everything one more time, the higher the value, pot value, the more treble that goes to your amp. Generally, humbuckers are 500. Generally, single coils are 250K. Okay, so that means the single coils are really having a lot of high end held back from them because they're designed that way. Um, humbuckers are dark sounding anyway, they need more high end to go through, so their pot value is double that of a single coil. Think of it single coil, double it, it's a humbucker, but it cuts off the um, high end, so you gotta let double the high end through. Um, so again, and if that's still too muddy, but that's the norm, is to use a 500k uh, pot. If your pickups are still too muddy, your humbuckers, put them up to a 1 meg. But like say you got your neck pickup is really muddy, but your bridge one's fine. Just change out your neck volume pot to a 1 meg and leave your 500k in your bridge. You know, things like that. You can swap them all day long. It's nothing to do it. I mean 
volume pots cost nothing. Um, and leave your tongue pots the way they are. Same thing with your strats or your tellies. If one position, uh, I know in um, your strats you actually have a choice because you have, um, well you've only got one volume depending on how you want to run it. You have three holes there. You can run a volume for each pickup and get away, do away with the tone control altogether if you want and have different pop values for each um, pickup and a lot of people are doing that okay because of this but um, you can always go to a master tone and swap out for whichever pickup is not sounding right instead of switching pickups just change the volume pot on that one pickup you know to get rid of one tone knob and run a master tone and, and then just put like a uh, you got a dirty, uh, dark sounding pickup somewhere, put a 300k pot instead of a 250k pot on that dark sounding single coil pickup and that'll let just a little more high end through on, on that pickup only. But then your normal volume control will control the rest of the guitar. So all kinds of cool little tricks like that. But the volume pedal thing is something to be very aware of. You have to use the same value pot uh, for your guitars. Okay, so if you're using different guitars, humbuckers and single coils, you better have a couple different volume pedals there with different resistances. You know, so you have a 500k pot in one volume pedal, you have a 250k pot in the other one, and you're going to have to put one wide open while you actually use the other one on a different guitar. And then if you have an active guitar with EMGs, you have to get a third one with a 25k linear pot in it yes you have to have all three then or get this okay <laughs> see all the other ones you have like a tampon string with the morleys and those strings break all the time or they got fish in line going through all kinds of stupid crap just go this route and this works for every guitar okay again like i said coming out of the factory they suck and i called the people at morley and they said well until people bitch we're not going to change anything but that's just the way some people are, you know. They figure if it ain't broke, fix it, or don't fix it, but yeah, it's broke, but they're not going to fix it, so you get to fix it yourself. You can ask me how to do it, or you can just look up Scott Grove Morley, and there are videos on it, or I'll be glad to make more if that one doesn't suffice. So once again, Scott Grove, Groovy Music Lessons, I hope that did more to help you than to hurt you. Okay, so... If you have any questions, you have two weeks to get a hold of me here, and then I always shut off all of my um, comment sections after two weeks. Then you can always PM me or just you know write me that way. You know it's just what I, I can't keep control of too many people on 600 and some videos. It's just something I'm not willing to do. So um, just give me a shout via a note, and I may or may not get to it. So you have it on video. You should be able to check it out and it's a very easy easy read if you just go on google and kind of see it in front of you okay so you don't need me here really telling you but some people like to hear it from me for some reason and some people don't like my long drawn out explanations of things so so whichever way you want to go have at it so hope that helped the couple people that asked once again groovymusiclessons.com free lessons go get them paid lessons go get them um, enjoy yourself and talk to you tomorrow. I've got something very cool to show you. Okay, take care. Bye.